Hi guys, how are you? So I'm gonna try and see if I can get this to work with the three molds. Um, I just tried to clean this off, which I need a little more work, but I did clean off the insides of these. So the other day um, I did with the scale, let's pull this so you can see, the, um, I think I did an, an eighth, 0.08 or whatever um, amount. And um, I, I really only did, it got two. So the video before this one, you should see that. And um, uh, I'm gonna crack the door open. Ugh. It's kind of chilly, but it's okay. Cause I'd rather have the fresh air than breathe in the storm the fumes so because damn this alcohol ink stinks um and god knows what the resin is doing <laughs> so i want to make sure that i have circulation next downstairs i have like a window also but i also have a fan going but i didn't bring the fan upstairs um so this time i'm going to try it again but i'm going to do three of the eight ounces which I probably should do the math. 8, 8, 16, 21, 21. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do 11 ounces of each. See how that works. 11, 8, 8, 16, <laughs> as you watch me do that, 11, uh, 12, I'll do 12, 20, 12. So I'm gonna start with the hardener, pour it in on my scale. Oh, okay. Now I really forget what I did. So this is one, I think it was 1.8. So I'm going to do 1.8, 12. Nine. Ooh, so now this goes to two. two points. All right, so let's do two. I'm literally not doing the math right. Let's see. Ugh, I keep going over. Let's get it to an even number. Nope, did it again. Okay, so this is 2.96. I think that's way more than we need. So I'm gonna reset it again, and I'm gonna get 2.96. Two. Go slow here. There. Two point nine six. Okay. So turn this off. Now I'm going to mix this. So they want you to mix it for three minutes in the first container. And of course I'm gonna fast forward through this. Okay. So three minutes. So now you're gonna pour it into another cup. This is how this Michael's EnviroTech. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, get as much off, scrape your stick. Okay, and then get a new stick like fresh so there's no residue in the cup and you stir it now for another minute.
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So that's a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna pour these in. That's one, two. Oh, I don't know. That might have actually been enough. Hold on, let me get the rest of this out. Hmm. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my stick and I'm gonna just make sure the resin goes all the way to the edges, that there's no bubbles. Okay, the first two look like it's a very good size. Let me see what this last one looks like. Okay, this is a little thin, so we will see how that works. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the torch very quickly, just going to the bubbles, okay? That's it, that quickly, okay? Because I don't want it to do any damage to it. Now, I am gonna put this ugly mask on, hopefully it works, and these pink things don't pop off, let's see. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, it feels weird to really breathe in, so I guess I am protected. Okay. So, oh my god. I'm already sweating. Okay, I don't know. I don't know about that. I know that it's necessary, but my whole face right here is sweating. And I feel a little claustrophobic. Okay, so I'm using Sun Bright Yellow. I'm using Cabaza Orange, Tangerine, um, Santa Fe Red, possibly the magenta, possibly a little bit of black or gray, and the gold. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. And then of course the white, because that's the magic. So, let's put this back on. Okay, so I started on yellow on the far side. Now I'm gonna do red on the other one because I really want the yellow to come out. Okay. Now I'm going in with the white. Let me take that so you can see what that looks like. Now I'm going to do the tangerine, I think, right down the center. And then I'm going to drop a little, actually, I'm going to go in with white. I'm going to 
drop in a couple drops of the orange right on top of that. And then I'll go in with some more white. Okay. Now I think I'm just going to randomly drop some. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do the yellow again. Just a couple drops. Not really heavy like I did the first time. Do some more white. Okay. Do the same thing with the red on the other side. Okay. And now I want to do a little bit of the black. So just random drops. Four. Four drops. And then gold. I don't even know how much I have left in here. Not a lot. Okay. Top it off with some white. And let's see what happens. So let me show you what that looks like. Now we'll see what happens. Now it really smells. <laughs> so I want to get this covered so that hides it. Literally, we've been on here for 16 minutes. Four of it is mixing up the resin. So these are really fun to do really quick. I mean, I, this is my kitchen table. I just have some craft paper down, have the supplies. Um, I have the heat gun up here. I haven't even used it really, except for the larger pieces. Um, so that's it. It's a lot of fun. Get into it. It's exciting and it's creative. And there's an element of what the hell is gonna happen and you don't know until the next day. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, so we are on for the unveiling of the ones that I did yesterday. So uh, it's been about 24 hours, actually probably just 24 hours um, from the time that I started. So I'm just gonna peel this back. Ooh, nice and simple how they come out. Ooh. Look how cool. So the yellow definitely came out really good. I don't, the pink kind of took over here, but I like the white and the gold, how it dropped. Sorry for the glare, I'm like facing the window. There we go. That's very cool. Love the thickness of it. I think that's the perfect thickness. Okay. Let's do number two. So these were all done very similar. Um, let me show you back. So the gold puddled into the middle. Same thing with this one. So 
Sorry about the dogs as usual. Oh, see, I like this one. This one had a lot of the yellow. And again, that kind of, it might just be the lighting, but that looks pink to me. That doesn't look red. And I did use red. I like the droppage of the gold and the white. It looks pretty cool. Okay, last one. Again. Great. Oh, love that one. One. That one has a lot more droppage of the white. Oh, I love how it's spaced out. See, I get usually get these random like one, one, one drops. This is nice. Back looks exactly the same. It's so weird how they all come out different. Very cool. Like them. So practice, practice, practice. That's what I'm doing. I'm just learning the process. Again, not teaching at all other than what not to do. Um... But these are, these are pretty cool. And I can't believe how different they came out. They really did. Even though I used the exact same things. Mm -mm. Just start paying attention. Like if I'm doing something different with the first one than the last one. So just a little uh, special. That's it. Like to end the video. Um, hi, God. My Jerry's Artorama box of goodies. So I'll just share what I got. Little box. I mean, I remember I told you I had to buy because I, uh, well, of course, I didn't have to buy. But I ran out of, I was running out of my white because I spilt it. So I got the new pinata, a new pinata white. I also got um, a um Sapphire blue, because I use a lot of blues. I have a Baya, Baya blue downstairs. Um, other colors that I got in Pinata are teal, because I just started using the teal. Um, I got some golden yellow. I got lime green, which I didn't have before. And sun bright yellow, because I'm almost out of it. Besides that, I really don't have any ranger colors. I have just a select handful of them. So I've been slowly stocking up on them. Remember, I got this because they were doing big sales, so I got 25% off of everything. Um, so I got a couple. I got turquoise. I got aquamarine. Amethyst. Uh, pool. Look like a cool color. Um, sailboat blue, trending theme, theme here. Pistachio, don't have that many greens. Uh, patina, I've heard some really cool things about that color. Stream, that's another one that I heard some cool things. And mermaid, gotta love anything called mermaid. Um, and then I, they also had these five by five clear acrylic um tiles which i thought that sounded pretty cool so i got these looks like there's a protective layer on here possibly maybe not maybe i'm wrong it's got like cloud to it though feels like something's on here I'll have to figure that out. No, there's definitely something on here. I just need to figure out how to take that off. Yep, there we go. As soon as you peel that off, the cloud is gone. So I'll try something on these. There was a set of six of them for like $3, two or $3. So got those two. So there's a little unboxing. Um, this one is actually finally done. Love how that came out. That's my um, acrylic uh, pouring um, with all of my Arteza colors. And I know that it's the glare. I'm so sorry. But this is just gorgeous. I'm not even sure if I'm going to sell this because I don't know if I can part with it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's going up on the wall. Um, so that's it. Have a nice day. Thank you.